Hello, this is Ron Clymer, and I am an instructor at Palmetto Real Estate School. I was supposed to have a big fancy sign, but I forgot it. But a friend of mine called me up, said, Ron, you got to show me how to do this amortization. I said, okay, I can do that. He said, would you put up a YouTube video about it? I said, I'd be happy to. So I'm putting up this YouTube. I'm just out here side the road side the highway at the South Carolina state line. I thought I'd put that in the background for you. And here's how this works. The question is, if you borrow, say, $100,000 at six and a quarter percent interest, and your payments are $620.83 a month, the question is, what's your balance after one payment. Well, before we do this, you need to have a basic understanding of interest. Now, I assume everybody knows that interest is the money you pay to the lender for loaning you the money. And it's almost always expressed as a percentage of how much you borrow. Now, there's a formula for this. There's a formula for this, and you need to have pretty much memorized. Now the formula is interest expressed as an I equals principal, that's how much you borrow, times the rate, the interest rate, six and a quarter percent or whatever it is, times the time that you have the money. Obviously, the longer you have the money, the more interest you will pay. So if you borrowed, say, $100,000, you borrowed $100,000 at six and a quarter percent interest. Now, I assume everyone knows that six and a quarter expressed as a decimal fraction is 0 .0625. So 0 0.0625 times $100,000, times, and time is always expressed in years. So if we're gonna have the money for one year, how much interest will we pay? Now, by the way, if you don't have a calculator, and I don't mean your phone, because they're not gonna let you use your phone on the South Carolina real estate exam. In fact, I understand they'll beat you if you even bring it into the exam. Get yourself a $10 calculator and a hundred thousand dollars times point zero six two five is six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. So six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars is the interest you'll pay. Now if we have the money for one year, that would be times one. Of course, any number times one is that number. So you will pay $6,250 in one year. Now, oftentimes on test, they will ask you questions. Test allows you to take any one of these factors and determine the other one. All right? For instance, and I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to give you a little memory peg and give you a little memory peg, which is this. If you'll think about I interest over P R T. Anytime you want to remember the formula for any one of these, you simply cover up the one you're looking for. So if you want to know the formula for principal, it's principal equal I over there's the formula. You want to know the formula for rate? Rate equals I over P T. So if you just cover up what you're looking for, there's the formula left. And that's just a little memory peg, a little mnemonic device, if you will. And so, well, let's just try it. Let's say that the question says, if you borrowed if you borrowed some money at six and a 
quarter percent interest. You borrowed some money at six and a quarter percent interest for one year. And the question is, and also the question says, $6,250 in interest. I paid $6,250 in interest. So the question is, how much did you borrow? How much money did you borrow? Now, I-P-R-T. What are we looking for? We're looking for the principal. How much did we borrow? Principal equals I over PRT, cover up the P, I over RT. All right, our rate is 0 0.0625. We borrowed the money for one year. So we got 0 0.0625 at the bottom. paid $6,250 in interest. Interest is always expressed in dollars. It's expressed in dollars, it's not expressed as a percent. That's the interest rate expressed as a percent. Interest is always expressed in dollars. So we end up with $6,250 divided by 0 0.0625. All right, I got my calculator here. 6,250 divided by 0 0.0625, and the calculator says that we borrowed $100,000. So we borrowed $100,000. That's using that formula to tell you that. You could do the same thing if you know how much interest you paid, how much money you borrowed, what is the interest rate, in fact, well, let's just do that. So the question is, what is the interest rate? All right, we borrowed a hundred thousand dollars at and we paid $6,250 in interest. And the question is, and we had the money for one year. And so the question is, what is the interest rate, right? This is going to be rate equals T times T. paid $6,250 in interest, $6,250 divided by 100, I right, got the calculator, $6,250 divided by 100,000, my calculator says 0 0.0625, or 6 and a quarter percent. That's how you compute interest, that's how you use this formula. However, what my friend asked me to show him was an amortization. An amortization. Now, an amortized mortgage is a mortgage where you pay some of your, you pay all of your interest every payment and a little bit towards your principal reduction. So your mortgage balance amortizes or gets small. So if you borrowed a hundred thousand dollars at six and a quarter percent interest and your payments were six hundred and twenty dollars and eighty-three cents a month. Now how do we know how much the payments are? It would tell us in the test book. That's the only way you would need, you would know the payments because they're given in the test question. So, test question says the payments are $620.83. That's 
what they are. So we want to know what is the balance, what is the balance after one payment? What is the balance after one payment? Well, I have a little formula the way I've always done this. Divide, subtract, subtract. Multiply, divide, subtract, subtract. So if we want to know what the payments are, we're going to multiply the principal, $100,000, times the interest rate, 0 0.0625, and that will tell us how much interest we're going to pay in one year. How much are we going to pay? We're going to pay $6,000. Alright, let me try that. $6,250 divided by 12 months. Our interest is $520.83 per month. The first month. Our interest is $520.83 the first month. So we send in our payment of $620.83. 52083 of that is interest. So the rest of it must be principal reduction. <coughs> so let's subtract the interest from the principal and interest, and we find out that we're paying a hundred dollars a month in monthly principal. So we've reduced our principal after one payment by a hundred dollars. That's fair enough. You send them six hundred twenty dollars and eighty-three cents, lowers your balance by a hundred dollars. So, last step, we take the hundred thousand dollars, our principal, we subtract the principal reduction, a hundred dollars, and the calculator says. Our new balance is $99,900. So now, after one payment, we owe $99,900. So that's the way that works. Now, what if we wanted to know the balance after two payments? We would simply start with $99,900. this again. Three payments, four payments, and so on. And that's called an amortization problem. And it's a good thing to know. You just never know when some prospects are going to So that is, that is how you do that. Now, let me remind y'all, and let me remind y'all, Ron Clymer, and I am with Palmetto Real Estate Prep School in beautiful downtown Spartanburg, also locations in Greenville and Myrtle Beach and soon to be in your city. Our phone number is 864-505. Eight six four five zero five forty nine. If I can do anything to help you get your real estate license in South Carolina, give us a call at this number. Love to have you in my next class, Palmetto Real Estate School.